Hey guys, Red Crush Speedway here, and it's time for episode number six of the point series. But first, before we do start, if you are always also a Hot Wheels collector and you're waiting for the Lamborghini tournament to be posted, I'm still editing the video right now, so don't worry, this will be posted somewhere around this week. So stay tuned for that. But first off, before we do start the event, let's check out the points so far. Here's your top 16 so far. If you're in green, you're in an area where you can actually be in the playoffs. But remember, there's only, at least only, 16 events. After this event, for event number 6, we'll have 10 more races to go. It's not about how many wins, it's about how many points you get. Running leader so far is it's Jac it's it's Pepsi or it's Jacoby in the Black Avenger from Hot Wheels. But when that happens, he doesn't have a single win. But he's been in the semifinals and finals so many times that that's how we got him up there. He is leading ten points above Matt Bob Mac and Curry Gaming. Can he hang on to it? About to find out. This is the loser's win edition. So here's the rules. If you win a race, so for example, if you're ahead of the other driver, it's only for people that are new to the channel for the sign-up series. Like for example, if Brodozer is ahead of higher education, higher education advances as he's further behind Brodozer. That is the rules. So the truck that's further behind, not the furthest, who is the non-furthest truck, will advance. All right, let's get this started. We're gonna start with the points leader. It's Jacoby in the Black Avenger Take it on Monstrum King in Bounty Hunter. The point series episode number six, the Fast Loser Edition is underway. And Bounty Hunter will move on, upsetting the Black Avenger. Next up, we have Maple of Mac and Megalon Fire taking on Blue Thunder. And the truck in second place is out. Blue Thunder advances. Next up in the truck in third place, Captain's Curse taking on Mad Scientist. And Mad Scientist will move on. Next up we have Power Person number one, the truck sitting in fourth place, taking on Clydesdale. And Power Person number one will move on. Next up at the truck sitting in 5th place, Gas Monkey Garage. Taking on Radical Rescue, which is a truck sitting in 17th. He's right below 16th right now. And he's tied with the same truck. Can he stay in it? No! Gas Monkey Garage moves on! Next up we have Pirate's Curse, taking on the Mud Titan. I'm going to go to Pirate's Curse, moving on. Next up, we have Fire Max D taking on Wildfire. Wildfire had a really bad bounce, but he will move on. Next up, we have Time Flies taking on Thunder 4x4. And we'll go to Time Flies. Next up, we have Itchiki taking on King Crunch. Smart move by King Crunch. He will move on. Next up at the Battle of the Dogs, we have Megabyte taking on Spike Unleashed. Megabyte with a really bad bounce, but that will not help him. Spike Unleashed will move on. But first, let me double check quick if it's correct. Yep, Spike Unleashed moves on. Next up, a Pyro Education taking on Brodozer. Bad bounce by a higher education, that will cost him. Brodozer moves on. Next up, we have Blackout Maxi taking on Ice Cream Man. Oh, what just happened to Ice Cream Man? But I think that might have helped him. Did that help him? Yes, it did. Ice Cream Man with that flip over, that will help him. He will move on. Next up, we have El Toga Ice taking on Bakugan Dragonoid. 
Oh, too much! Oh, but I also just blocked him though! And by the dragon, I will be moving on. Next up, we have Eltoka Holiday taking on Yeti. And Eltoka Holiday will be moving on. Next up, is the three times Sonic Series champion, Shocker 12, taking on Zombie Fire. Can Zombie Fire upset the three time champ? He will! And Shocker 12 blocks him! Zombie Fire moves on. Next up, we have Dalmatian Ice taking on Dragon Ice. Dalmatian Ice is out! Dragon Ice will move on. Next up, we have Wrecking Crew taking on Flashback Thrasher. Oh, but Thrasher blocks him! Wrecking Crew will move on. Next up, we have NEA Police taking on El Matador. Oh my goodness! El Matador is fast! But too fast, that will cost him. NEA moves on. Next up, we have Hog Bison number 3 taking on Scarlet Bandit. And Scarlet Bandit will upset Hog Bison number 3. Next up, we have Scooby Doo taking on Carolina Crusher. Oh, Scooby Doo blocks Carolina Crusher! Carolina Crusher will move on. Next up, we have Wonder Woman taking on Bigfoot. Last place of round number one. And Bigfoot spins out, and that will help him. Bigfoot takes out Wonder Woman. But Bigfoot, unfortunately, needs a competitor for round number two. So, here are the eight trucks I picked out. We're going to start off with the Mud Titan taking on El Toca Ice. El Toca Ice takes on Mud Titan. Next up, we have Wonder Woman taking on Clydesdale. Oh, Clydesdale has too much speed. He tried to turn, but he couldn't. Wonder Woman will move on. Next up, we have El Matador taking on Flashback Thrasher. And I will go to El Matador. Scooby-Doo, Thunder 4x4. They both had a rebound. Ooh, this can be interesting how, how close this one is. Oh man. Oh no. And I woke up to Thunder 4x4 barely getting the win. Next we have Wonder Woman taking an El Toloca Ice. And it will be El Toloca Ice moving on. Thunder 4x4, El Matador. Oh, El Matador's moving too much. Oh man, but barely, El Metador will still hang on. And the fast loser to take on Bigfoot is... El Matador. Unfortunately, you guys will only get one point. Seems like the points are gonna change. All right, it's time to start off round number two. Let's kick it off with Blue Thunder. And Bounty Hunter. Round number two is underway. And we'll go to Blue Thunder. Mad Scientist, how about placing number one? Oh no! Mad Scientist tried to block him, but couldn't. He tried to make him spin out, but how about one will get a lucky run? He will move on. Next up, we have Pirate's Curse taking on Gas Monkey Garage. The truck's sitting in fourth right on the standings. I meant third, but it won't really matter. Gas Monkey moves on. Wildfire, time flies. Oh my goodness, bull trucks are so even. But it will go to time flies. Next up, we have King Crunch taking on Spike Unleashed. Oh man. This is going to be really close. Bringing it down. Rerun, I can't tell. 
First rerun, here we go. And it will go to Spike Unleashed, I believe. And as it will, Spike Unleashed moves on. Brodozer, Ice Cream Man, Clear Crushers. Both trucks are so fast. Wow. But it will go to Ice Cream Man, Clear Crushers. Moving on. Next we have El Toka Holiday taking on Bakugan Dragonoid. The truck sitting in sixth. Oh, but El Toka Holiday blocks him. No. Bakugan Dragonoid will take him out. Next up, a Dragon Ice taking on Zombie Fire. The last Fire and Ice trucks in this tournament right now. How long can they last? Oh, but they're showing their dominance here. But it will go to Zombie Fire moving on. Next, we have Wrecking Crew taking on NEA. Oh, and he spins out. That's going to help him. NEA takes a Wrecking Crew. Next, we have Carolina Crusher taking on Scarlet Bandit. And Carolina Crusher's out on this one. Scarlet Bandit moves on. And the final race of round number two is Bigfoot taking on El Metador, the fast loser. And El Metador takes out Bigfoot. But El Metador's gonna need a fast loser. So here are the eight trucks I picked out. Let's kick it off with King Crunch and Wildfire. And it will go to Wildfire. Carolina Crusher taking on El Toka Holiday. They both have so much speed. But it will go to Carolina Crusher. Dragon Ice, Bounty Hunter. And it will go to Bounty Hunter. Brodozer, Mad Scientist. And it will go to Mad Scientist. Carolina Crusher, Wildfire. And we'll go to Carolina Crusher as he gets blocked by Wildfire. Mad Scientist, Bounty Hunter. And we'll go to Bounty Hunter as he turns. And the truck taken on El Metador is. Carolina Crusher. And unfortunately, you guys will only get four points. Bounty Hunter tried. It's so what a Dragon Ice and King Crunch. They tried. But, Fortune Guys will get four. Who will get seven points? About to find out. Let's kick it off with Hover number number one, taking on Blue Thunder. Round number three is underway. And then we'll go to Blue Thunder, taking out Hover Basing one. Gas Monkey. Time flies. Gas Mike has too much speed. Time flies, moves on. Ice Cream and Clear Crushers, Spike Unleashed. Ice Cream flips over again. Ice Cream Man moves on. This is the last truck. This is one of the, there's only two trucks left in the top 16 and only Time Flies has advanced. Can Dragonite advance? Or will Zombie Fire upset him? Oh, my, oh, he bounced though. But it's not enough. Zombie Fire moves on. NEA, Scarlet Bandit. Oh, man. And Scarlet Bandit takes on NEA. Only one fast food advances, El Metador or Carolina Crusher. That is not what El Metador wanted to do. Carolina Crusher takes him out. But we need two trucks to make it eight. So here are the trucks I brought out. Let's kick it off with Gas Monkey and NEA. And of course, 
Gas my crush, we'll move on. Dragonoid, spike unleashed. Dragon has too much speed. Spike unleashed moves on. Unfortunately, you guys will get seven points. Let's start off with the quarterfinals. We're gonna start off with Blue Thunder taking on Time Flies. Who will go to the semis? And in Blue Thunder, after the struggle he's been having, he's gonna go to the first time to the semis. Next we have Iron Ice Cream and Clear Crusher taking on Zombie Fire. And Ice Cream and Clear Crusher will move on. Scarlet Bandit, Carolina Crusher. These trucks need a win here, but only one moves on. And it will be Scarlet Bandit. The final race of the quarterfinals is Spike Unleashed and Gas Monkey Garage. This is the only truck in the top 16. The fourth place, the fifth place truck is out. Spike Unleashed moves on. What a point since this has been. It is time to find out for our first, second, third, and fourth place trucks. Inside of Blue Thunder, we have Penguin Plus One FNAF. Unfortunately, he has 14 points in the standing, so this will help him if he moves up. Inside of Ice Command Clear Crushers, we have Chance Smith. He has 23 points. He is looking to be in the top 16. Inside of Scarlet Bandit, we have Addison Taylor with 17 points. This truck's been struggling a lot as well. And inside of Spike Unleashed, we have Shane Licardi. He also has 17 points in the standings. Three trucks in the yellow area. Ice Cream Man is not. He is in the gray. These trucks are looking to be in the top 16 or get out of the windless area. Who is it going to be? Let's find out right now. Let's start off with Penguin Push 1 FNAF inside of Blue Thunder taking on Chance Smith in Irish Command Clear Crushers. Blue Thunder spins! Irish Command goes backwards! Blue Thunder moves on to the finals. Then we have Shane Licardi and Spike Unleash taking on Aston Taylor in Scarlet Bandit. Oh, it's going to be close between these two. Was it enough for Addison Taylor? And yes, it is. Addison Taylor moves on. All right, for a third place and fourth place trucks, who is it going to be? I should make clear crush, which is Chance Smith and Shane Licardi and Spike Unleashed. Truck not in the top 16, but barely in it. He'll probably be in the top 16 for the rest of this series so far. Then Shane Licardi is in the yellow area. He needs to get in the gray area. And we'll go to Ice Cream Man. Congratulations. Shannon Curry, you will have 19 points. Ice Cream Man Clear Crush, which is Chance Smith, he will have 20 points for the point series. But now it's time to finally know for the Losers Win Edition, we have. Penguin Plus 1 FNAF inside of Blue Thunder with 14 points. And in Scarlet Bandit, we have Addison Taylor. The East Coast looking for the first win and trying to get out of the yellow area. What is it going to happen? We're about to find out. And the, and the truck winning episode number 6, the Losers Win Edition, is going to be none other than... Addison Taylor in Scarlet Bandit. Congratulations. You have finally won an event in Scarlet Bandit after the struggle in five events, after losing three times in round one. You have finally moved on. 
Congratulations, Addison Taylor. You will get 22 points. Ping and Plush won FNAF. You will have 21 points, which is not bad for the points. But unfortunately, you were out in the finals. But, but, but you won't see the points so far. So everyone, take a look at the standings so far. After the points so far, this will be the last time you'll ever see these kind of points in the series. Here are the points. This is the last time you're ever going to see when you're in this position. And you're going to see a change after this. What's going to happen? How will the points look like? We'll find out soon. Congratulations to Addison Taylor and Scarlet Bandit for winning episode 6, the Lose Win Edition. The next one will be the triple, will be the Gap Edition. And this is also Red Crash Speedway signing off. Be sure to check out my Instagram and my Facebook group linked in the description. And the next video I'll be posting next will be the Lamborghini Tournament, so stay tuned for that. This is Red Crest Speedway, signing off. Peace out.